All right, hello everyone. This is Peter of Peter Draws. And uh, although you may not have heard of me, I assume you have heard of hot dogs. And I happen to be a self-taught hot dog chef extraordinaire. I also happen to be very hungry. So today I'm gonna strap on this little guy and show you firsthand how to make a tasty little hot dog dish that will really hit the spot and, well, be both nutritional, filling, uh, I don't know, let's just, you'll see as it all comes together. This dish is called the Sog Dog, all right, and it's, uh, it's a real treat. All right, so what you're gonna do, when I get this out of the way, uh, gonna get your pot of water here. Take your lid, uh, probably want some fresh water. Saw some floaties in there. Oh yeah. All right, not too much, not too little, not too much. Uh, crank this little guy up to uh, 7.2, right about there, okay? And get your hot dogs out. Today we're using uh, Nathan's Bun Length Skinless Beef Franks. Slice the package open. Just don't slice your fingers, right? And, you know, depending on how hungry you are, Depends how many of these you want to cook up. You don't want too much water though, because if you get too much water, that's gonna, you know, make it take longer to cook them. I'm gonna cook four of them and save four for later. In fact, I think I have too much water. I'm gonna waste time if I keep all that, right? So I'm gonna pour some of it out. Really, you just want to cover up the hot dogs. Plus, as you'll see, the water will come in play and be very important later. And if we have less water, then the water we do have in there will be um, more potent. That'll be very nice. If you want to speed up the process, you can put the lid on. And then you have to wait a few minutes for it to boil. We can fast forward this process for you, but it should just take a couple minutes. In the meantime though, you can be getting your buns out. I can't tell which way this twists. Hold on. Get a plate, put your buns on there. Oh, this bun needs a little help. It's a dud bun. Hmm. Oh, I'll pull another one out. It's, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world to have one bun to snack on while you're waiting for things to boil. But you don't want to ruin your appetite either. All right, open them all up, get them ready. So you might notice that so far, this part of the hot dog making process is uh, fairly straightforward and normal as far as making hot dogs goes. But soon here, we're gonna mix it up a little bit and that's where the real treat comes in. All right, so as you can see now, it's come to a boil. I've eaten the rest of the hot dog bun that was here. Uh, everything's going well. Don't, don't burn yourself on the steam. But yeah, everything's great. 
right? Yes. Ooh, yeah. Nice. Now, it's really up to you. The, cock, the hot dogs come pre-cooked, so it's up to you how much, how long you want to boil them, how impatient you're feeling, right? Uh, if they're splitting like this, oh, oh, it's hot. Where's my tongs? If they're starting to split and stuff, that means they're probably done. So pull these aside a little bit. Wait, wait, yeah, pull these aside. Pop that on there. Pop that on there. Pop that on there. Pop that on there. And now I'm gonna show you how to do the next step, right? I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Off, actually. Uh, move this, move this, move this. Okay, and then, oh yeah, those are nice. Those are real nice, look. <laughs> and then one way you can do this is take, take a couple of these hot dog buns, uh, put them in here, put your uh, toasty little frankfurters in there, Right, yes, like so. Put it in your colander, take this. Now this is really good water you have there right now. That's really good stuff, right? And you just wanna put it in there and you just wanna get the buns uh, a little bit soggy, like so. Don't use it all up though, cause you have more. You got more buns to use. Now those are gonna be, that butter was just, it was just boiling, but it's not too hot, okay? It's good. Uh, one other way you can do this, if you want to, you can get your uh, bun holder here, right? Like so. If you maybe only have one, you don't have a uh, one of these things, whatever that colander, like this, get your uh, turkey baster, like so. Soak a little of it up. Oh yeah. Oh, oh that squirted everywhere. And then you can apply it like this. Maybe a little more. Right? And then, and then sometimes with these, I just, I just like to put ketchup on them. They're, they're really good even just like this. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's try out one of these even soggier ones. Oh, if it's falling apart in your hands like that, it's, you know, you did it right. Because we're eating hot dogs because we like the flavor of hot dogs. And when you soak the buns in the water, it pervades the whole bun. Mmm. That was a little hot. Plus, you don't get that dry, starchy bread stuff invading the whole sensation. We're all about sensations here. Oh. Mm. That was a nice dog dog. Here you can get the uh, the full view of me eating it. Oh. 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 Mm. Wait, there's still more over here. Oh, it's so soggy. Mm. It's a totally different experience. Now, 
Now I will say, now I will say if you have a big enough colander, you can put the buns and dogs in here and just dip the whole thing in your sog dog water pot. That also works really well. Now, pro tip time. Give me a second, I'll show you something cool. Also, while I'm whipping this extra special treat up together for you, I will say that if you go into nice restaurants, you know, sometimes we like ordering off the menu because it makes us feel, feel special. And if you go into nice restaurants, you can sometimes ask for a sog dog and they'll be happy to oblige you. I've had a couple of really good ones that, well, really surprised me. Sometimes the chef enjoys the opportunity to jump at a challenge like that and make something a little bit different. Something they know you'll enjoy, right? And something that they like making. All right, and here it is, folks. Oh, it's sizzling. It's sizzling like crazy. The special treat I promised. If you slap a pork brat in the skillet, take it over here, and you put it in your last and final bun, like so. Right? Put it in your sog dog trough. Get a bit of the good stuff. Oh yeah. Drizzle it real nice. Oh. oh, good it's soggy though. It's called a sog dog for a reason, right? And then, actually on this I'd probably put gray poop on as a special treat. At that point, you'd have what I affectionately call the Sog Dog Big Hog. And I usually don't eat these on the same day as other regular Sog Dogs, but today's a special occasion and I think uh, we can make an exception. <laughs> mm. 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 Now that is a real delight. Anyways, have fun with it everyone. Let me know if you have any questions about sog dogs in the comments and uh, yeah, I'll be happy to help you out. Let me know if you enjoy it or if you think of any other cool modifications to the sog dog. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Goodbye.